everybody, what's going on? I'm Greg Sussman alongside Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to break down the semi and the finals for the League of Legends this weekend. What's happening, Tom? We have the finals, uh, you know, coming up this weekend. It's going to be awesome. Uh, the best teams are in action. No more five, six seeds in the playoffs. We're here for the best. Absolutely. The best in Europe, the best in North America. We're going to crown champions this weekend. You don't want to miss it. Let's start with Saturday for the LEC. The Mad Lions are taking on G2 Esports. It's going to be a battle on Saturday to figure out who's going to the championship on Sunday. That's where we'll start, Tom. Who do you like? Well, G2 actually lost to the Mad Lions in the first round of the playoffs about a week and a half ago. And simply put, G2 are still the better team. Uh, you know, even though the Mad Lions were able to come out with a five game uh, or five game victory, three two, G two, we have to be trusting them in this matchup. They, they've been the best team in the regular season. They were the best team last year, the best team before that. We want to be trusting at Caps and Perks and Yankos, really the big three for G two. If you want to get interesting, go to Wonder and Mickey X their support. And if you're playing on the one game slate, I actually think there's some value, specifically from a saving standpoint, while uh, when rostering the G two as a team. If you have to, uh, you know, on the one game slate, you have to roster one of the players from the Mad Lions. Actually, like going to Shadow, their jungler, brings you a bit of correlation, and ultimately, we should be seeing G2 win 3-1. to one. Tom going with G2 to make it on to Sunday. We saw these teams face off earlier in the playoffs. We'll see if G2 can get the job done when it counts here in the semis. All right, let's move on to Sunday because this, this is the finals for Europe. Your prediction is G2 taking on the Fnatic. If that happens, how does it all end? This is the matchup everyone wants to see. We saw this last year. This is the equivalent to Chiefs versus Ravens. This is, you know, the heavyweight bout we want to see. Uh, fully expecting this to go a full five games. Now, when we have the two-game slate on Sunday, obviously the matchup yet to be determined. This is the matchup you want to be loading up on. We know that Cloud9 are extremely dominant in North America, and that, sh that series shouldn't go long. So this is the series between Fnatic and G2 we want to be loading up on simply from a fantasy point perspective. On G2, their best player. Of course, still pa uh, Caps, Perks, and, and uh, Yankos in the jungle. That's who we want to be trusting. But on the Fnatic side, Reckless is a player we absolutely have to be trusting. If you need the value, go to Hillisang, go to Bwipo, their support, and their top laner. But I would say overall on the two game slate for Sunday, get as many players from these two teams as you possibly can. We'll determine the other Sunday game here in a moment, but you mentioned Reckless each of the last couple of weeks for Fnatic. He's somebody that's going to be in my lineup uh, for League of Legends in the finals here on Sunday. Let's go across the pond here, Tom. Let's go to North America, where on Saturday they have their semifinals. FlyQuest is taking on the Evil Geniuses, and where do you think this matchup's headed? So we also saw these two teams play about a week and a half ago in the first round. EG won that three to one. But since then, we have seen FlyQuest win two series in the lower bracket, really looking strong. And I actually like FlyQuest overall in this series. And specifically, I like them on this two game slate because they kind of line up nicely with G2. And when we're looking back at the Saturday slate, we have to be looking at stacking up G2, but they are the most expensive team. So FlyQuest actually fits very nicely when it comes to, you know, simply roster construction, how many of the G2 players can you get into your lineup? You need some savings. And that really lies with FlyQuest. Their mid laner power Vivo has been amazing all playoffs long. You want to be trusting him. And actually, Solo, their top laner, has been flipping in and out uh, with Viper to end the regular season. But now Solo has taken over the starting role. So going to FlyQuest as that value stack really lines up nicely with G2. This series could easily go four or five games, maybe slightly favored to EG. But I also want to be playing the ownership perspective and going to FlyQuest. There's a lot of value to be had with FlyQuest and how they match up uh, with G2, as Tom mentioned. Evil Geniuses may, may be the slight favorite, but FlyQuest give you the value that you need on Saturday to make a winning lineup. Let's move on to Sunday, where the finals will take place in North America, as the winner of EG versus the FlyQuest will take on Cloud9. We talked before with Europe, like that's the matchup you wanted to see. That's the best two teams, and we're going to get the same here in North America. Well, regardless of who Cloud9 plays, we should be looking to them. Cloud9 have lost only two games the entire season, one in the playoffs last week, one in the regular season. 
Uh, you know, I kind of like FlyQuest in the matchup. If it's FlyQuest versus uh, versus Cloud9, it's probably going to be a 3-0 in favor of Cloud9. They're just that dominant. If EG do win, I could still see them uh, losing to Cloud9. Maybe it's a 3-1, but it really comes down to the Sunday slate. How can you get some of the Cloud9 players into your lineup knowing that they get the bonus for the games not played if they do, in fact, sweep, which everyone is expecting. So I would say go to Vulcan and the Licorice, their support and their top laner just because they're cheaper and then load up on that G2 Fnatic game, presumably if that is the matchup because that's where the fantasy points should lie. So Cloud9, they're probably going to win the L LCS title, but we want to be looking at them for some value today. Oddly enough, the favorites here on Sunday in North America, Cloud9, it's where you're going to find value because the other matchup in Europe, the other game on Sunday, should be more competitive, more games, more fun. More points. We'll see what happens, obviously, this weekend. There you have it. Those are your League of Legends semifinals and finals predictions. We're getting you ready for DFS LOL this weekend. Tom, I'm excited. I know you are too, man. It should be fun. Have a good one. Absolutely, you too. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up, and we'll see you next time, next week. Stay safe, everybody.